you have. Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We are brewing, or we are reviewing, Brains Gin Lane, the Brains Craft Brewery, with Jennifer Berries. Oh, you did? Here's the beer in the glass. Lovely golden colour beer with with gin infused. It's a gin infused beer. Okay, so I'm joined by Bill Dobson, head brewer of Brains Brewery, the Brains Craft Brewery. He hasn't got any hands, don't worry about shaking the hand. Oh, there we go, there we go. Um, beer in the glass, it's a nice clear beer, nice carbonation, nice little head there going on the beer. Um, Bill, why juniper berries and why gin? Um, Good, very good question. I suppose they are two of the nation's favourite drinks. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try some while you talk. Go on. And to be honest, it's a flavour I've been curious about for a while because and it's something I've been playing around with for a while. I've always been trying to think that surely a gin beer must work, but it's been quite a development process to get to the right beer to do the gin flavourings in. So, um, so it's been a little bit of work in progress. Um, this is its first sort of real debut so as much feedback as we can gather here is you know is it something that people like or is it just you know want to put on the back of it so, a question but um, wouldn't bring it here if we didn't think we had something that was interesting no no let, let's get the aroma let's, let's dive in <laughs> now tasting that juniper berry you definitely you definitely get it in the aroma. You definitely get it in the aroma. It, it seems like a, it's a 5% ABV beer. Yep. It's a crisp, clean looking beer. A little bit of hop character. Nice malty taste. Let's dive in. Let's just dive into this one. That, for me, the juniper berries, it's, it's, a, it's a fruity but very kind of clinical, dry, it's, it's almost like a sword's kind of cut through it, but that, that clinicalness makes it very refreshing. Yeah, and, and I think that was the whole point of, um, you know, you get that you get that sweetness, sweet fruity flavour initially, yeah. and then it finishes it's that black. long, lingering, but quite sharp, bitter finish. Yeah. Um, and getting those balance of flavours right and the right beer to get those flavours into has been, um, been something we've been working on, obviously, you know, and um, quite pleased with the results. I think it, you know, exactly that. We want a beer that isn't something that you just have a sip of and think that's nice, but I couldn't drink the whole drink. We want something that stays as a nice, long, refreshing drink. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we've got it in keg today. We're going to have it in cask in some of our pubs um, following the festival. So, again, it'll be interesting how people see it in both cask and keg. We've got a few bottles that we're going to uh, release, hopefully, um, a bit later in the year as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. And, um, yes. let, let's, um, let, let's see how it goes. I, I'm used to drinking, not warm, but kind of off the, off the kitchen shelf temperature beer this is cold but it's still got flavor and i think that comes from the juniper berries isn't it it's cold but it's got let me explain if you if you cold if you pour hops in a beer and if you cool it down too much you lose all that hop, kind of hop flavor but with the juniper berries and cooling it down you still kind of savor that Citrus. Well, you'd, you'd have it if you had a gin and tonic. You'd have it with potentially ice. And you'd have it. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. what we're trying to do. Yeah. So, I like the fact that it, it's June. We're in the Millennium Stadium, in Cardiff. It's June. It's cold. It, well, it's warm. We got a nice cold. Beer. Yeah. It, it's warm. It's warm. It'd be nice if it was warm. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was warm in June. But yeah. We, we got a beer that potentially, if the sun shone, um, we, we got something that would refresh you. It's cold, it's nice, it's flavorful. flavorful. I like it, I really like this. Um, I think you should go on with this, Bill. I really do. Well, you know, it's all about getting feedback from the festival. And, yeah. uh, who knows, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a beer that I hope we get positive feedback and then we're going to you know, bring out on a bigger scale later on. So, Brilliant. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.